Do you ever have that game in your library you just look at and you wonder, Did I purchase that? I do not remember doing that at all. I had a similar experience when I saw Knack in my library of games because I do not remember getting this at all. It says on my account that it's a PlayStation Plus redeemed game, but even then I don't remember redeeming it either. It just exists there now. But if it's there, I guess I can make a video on it? Maybe? Alright, here we go. At the start of a new system's life, there's always launch titles. The games that show what a system is capable of while giving early adopters something to sink their teeth into. Around the launch of the PS4, Sony was promoting a new IP to be the face of the PS4, Knack. He was made both to be a technical showcase of the PS4's rendering power, with how complex a character model like him could get away with so many moving tiny parts, and to be a more kid-friendly option opposed to the shooters and mature rated titles at the launch of the system. I didn't get my PS4 until around 2016, you can thank Ratchet and Clank for the motivation, but I definitely remember seeing Knack make its rounds during the PS4 showcases, and I remember just not being impressed. Which was weird for me because, well, I've made it clear I'm a pretty big fan of Sony platformers, in particular of the PS2 generation, but also this game was being developed by Sony of Japan Studio, who were the ones behind Ape Escape, Gravity Rush, and helped with titles like Shadow of the Colossus. So it was such a weird feeling that Knack wasn't striking any chords with me. So I didn't really feel the need to pick it up, but it's in my library now and the PS5 is about to come out, so maybe I was missing something. You never know. Let's find out. Cool! Ooh, I'm getting chills. I think I made a mistake. So in the world of Knack, humans have driven goblins out of their land until one day they come in with tanks and are now seen as a threat. The humans meet to discuss how to combat them, with a rich businessman named Victor saying they could use his advanced robotics line, but a scientist shows off his newest creation, Knack, who is made up of relics, pretty much the main energy source of this world that was mined up, and he has the ability to grow in size based on the amount of relics he gets. Knack proves himself more of a threat than the machines, and it's off to fight the goblins, but Victor wants ultimate power to himself, goblins are just there, there's a key that leads to ultimate destruction, the key is used for that, and Knack beats up anything in his way to save the day, and that is it. Yeah, it's a simple plot, but this is a case where it's simple to a fault. Characters are paper thin, you know every twist that's gonna happen. There's no character development, personality, nor charm to draw onto. And if this was more of a setup plot, where it just gave the reason for the world being how it is and off you go, maybe that would have been passable. But the game just showers you in cutscenes so much that it really doesn't have an excuse to be this bland. A big part of that is I don't like any of the cast. The professor is an old man that keeps talking about his dead wife so you know she'll be part of the story, and then she comes in for a grand total of three times, the young boy who doesn't want any part of the adventure but does so by the end, the experienced adventurer who's just kind of there, the rich investors who are just so blatantly evil with barely any motivation. I do want to mention that they let the villains get away so many times without doing anything that it got distracting. Like finish the job, punch them, throw a rock or something, man. The only thing I could think of with the goblins was that they kind of had a point in their conquest. Humans kick them out of their homes, take all their resources, and then mock them in their face when they try to revolt. Yeah, yeah, that, that sounds like something humans would do. On a side note, Knack has like no bearing on the plot at all besides just being the muscle of the group. And won't lie, he's kind of a hypocrite. Like he says that the goblins are bad for destroying all the cities. Keep in mind, he says it's in a level where you're destroying a city as you go through. So uh, yeah, great job. Also, he's willing to grab a key that could end the world just because the doctor said so. The kid says one thing to him, and he immediately turns 180 on the issue. I'm not kidding, it was so fast, watch. The doctor does strategy. I do execution. Doc, the kid is right. Really kind of hits home that he doesn't think for himself. Maybe if one of the villains made him actually question what he was doing, he goes rogue for a bit and then he comes back to the side of good. I know that that trope is extremely basic, but at least it would be something. I know I'm going on for a long time about the plot, but that's only because so much of the game is cutscenes. 
And when I get bored out of my mind and numb, this is the kind of stuff I start thinking about instead. But anyway, let's move on to presentation. Knack as a launch title is not that bad looking. The most impressive part graphically is Knack himself. Mainly when he dies, he splits into all of the relics that made him up. Which I won't lie, is a pretty cool technical showcase. Really the biggest problem with Knack's presentation, it just reeks of this not bad but very generic kind of vibe. Every cave, city, forest, volcano area, you've played a game with this level before. And Knack doesn't really put its own spin on any level gimmicks. The closest thing this game had to an original level is the relic mines. But even then, I just found it to be the dollar brand version of the precursor mines from Jack and Daxter. The voice acting is... Passable at best. It feels like the voice director didn't give them much to work with, nor did the script for that matter. Again, like I said, it's hard to get attached or care about anybody with no clear direction or identity. I do want to mention, however, Knack's voice. Ah, uh, that's better. <laughs> what? Okay, that was not the voice I was expecting based on his character design, but alright. You also get moments where what's going on on screen and the reaction just don't match up, and it leads to unintentionally funny moments. No! <laughs> what was that? No! 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 Also, I cannot remember this soundtrack at all. I can maybe remember the title theme, but that's about as far as it goes. But even then, it's just the first few notes. But okay, let's move on to gameplay. So I was thinking that Knack was going to be a 3D platformer, but no. Knack is actually more of a 3D beat-em-up with light platforming elements. Knack has a basic 3-punch combo, and that's his only combo. Not only combo at the star or anything, no, no, no. That's his one combo for the entire game. You do have somewhat of a homing attack dive ball move, a dodge in any direction with the right stick, and he has three super moves that you can do once you fill one of these circles up which involve a shockwave, a homing beam, and a tornado attack. Knack's big gimmick is that when he collects enough relics, he can grow in size. When he does, he gains a bigger life bar and can deal more damage. Sometimes you can get different elements that slightly change up gameplay, and I truly do mean slightly. You can find these extra parts that can make contraptions, that when you find all of them, can give Knack a new passive ability, or crystals that let you play as different versions of Knack, and when you beat the game, you get a time attack, the gauntlet challenges, and that's about it. So, um, the good? Let's see, the good and knack, the good and knack, the good and knack. Well, sometimes the powers can change up gameplay, which can be kind of cool. Like the ice power, you need to rush to the end of a level before you melt. Big Knack does give off some kind of catharsis, where you can beat up enemies easily that gave you trouble before. And the ending credits with Knack dancing was probably the most charming part of the whole game. Which is kind of sad. And, um, yeah, that's like all I can think of. Let's get into the thick of it now. Let's be real, this is the part of the video you clicked on for. So the things that just flat out don't work in Knack. Oh boy, do I got a list here. The biggest problem with Knack at its core is, dear lord, this game is a slog to get through. Almost nothing interesting happens in any level. You fight the same enemies throughout the whole game, all with a basic three-hit combo as your main tool. The game wears thin of all of its ideas within the first hour of the game. My playtime was 10 hours long, but man, it felt like 20 for all the wrong reasons. Going back to the enemies, surprisingly, any of the big guys are like, no threat to you at all. And it's all the tiny enemies that will be the bane of your existence because they're so hard to hit, move all over the place, and at small knack you die in two or three hits. Adding on top of that, any bow and arrow enemy are far more dangerous than anything advanced like a robot, which I couldn't help but find really off. For most of the small sections, I ended up running past them, because it's not like there's a leveling system or anything encouraging you to fight. At first, I thought beating stuff up in the environment or enemies would help me build my size, you know, to make fights easier, but it's like the game chooses when you get to increase in size at certain points in the level. And no matter what you do, you can't change your size on your own, so again, it's just better to avoid fights. The power-ups don't do anything to change up gameplay enough. I mentioned that ice example, but that's like the only time in the game they do something like that. 
Getting the ice powers doesn't give you any actual ice attacks. It just makes you bigger like any other relic. In particular, I did not understand the point of Stealth Knack. You need him to bypass lasers and sneak up on enemies. Except the enemies can see you just fine, even when you're invisible. And you need to beat up enemies anyway to move on. There's not a stealth takedown or anything like that, so... What is the point of this? I seriously cannot figure that out. There's also no reason to really explore levels. There are a few secrets like the machines that can boost some of your stats, like get more health or get more relics, but you get the parts at random. Yep, it's RNG. Meaning you can go the entire game without getting a single finished item, even though you got most of the game's secrets. So yeah, that really doesn't encourage me to look for every nook and cranny. And for the extra knacks, they require an obnoxious amount to use them, and I did not feel like replaying the game at all after beating it. And the boss fights really don't change anything up. The only one that I kind of like is the final one, which had a cool idea, but horrible execution, and there's not enough interesting to keep it going. I've stated it multiple times, but Knack is just too bland of a game to make it last as long as it did, and so many times I just wanted the game to end, which is a sign I was not having a good time. Knack is like a really, really dry piece of turkey. It's got no flavor to it, it feels like there's more than there should be, and it doesn't matter how many seasonings or gravy you put on top of it, you won't change its face. No incentive for combat, its main gimmicks aren't exciting, no reason to explore, a story that goes on for far too long for what it's going for, no charm, and any time there's a glimmer of hope that the game might get better, it's brushed aside for the same repetitive mess you just did 5 minutes ago. I technically didn't pay anything for the game, and I still feel like I got ripped off. I can't recommend Knack at all, not even for a joke or meme value because you're just gonna get so bored so fast. Knack is a title I am never touching again, and it's very easy to see why PlayStation doesn't ever acknowledge this guy. Ever. Well, safe to say I wasn't missing much at the launch of the PS4, and I would not recommend Knack at all. Even as a joke, it's just not worth your time. And the only reason I would ever touch Knack 2 would be for like a sequels marathon, or if this video did super well. But I would be doing that for you guys, and not because of the game itself. Well, only one thing left to do. The evil has been slain.